All right, folks, buckle up because a major shift in our weather pattern is set to sweep across the United States over the next seven days. And it's bringing a one to two punch with two more significant storms, promising more severe weather for the nation, but that's just the opening act. Following the storms, we are going to see a classic winter weather pattern settle in right as we get closer to Thanksgiving and Black Friday, where some snowfall is certainly on the table. But the main event will be a blast of Arctic air, which is likely for a large portion of the United States. So, in today's comprehensive forecast, we're going to break down every detail you need to know about the weather that's going to be making headlines across the United States for the next seven days. And let's kick things off with the here and now, taking a look at the current action across the country today. Right now, we have a formidable storm system making its grand entrance across the desert southwest and the southern plains, and it is forecast to bring some severe weather today to areas like Texas. That includes Arkansas and Oklahoma, with a distinct risk of damaging winds, large hail, and even a couple of tornadoes in the mix. And if that wasn't enough, it's also going to deliver a tremendous amount of rainfall over the next 24 hours. And then by tomorrow and Saturday, it will chart a course across the Ohio and Mississippi valleys, bringing plenty of rainfall and some strong to isolated severe storms along with it. But believe it or not, that isn't the whole story. Because as we look ahead to early next week, we are forecasting another powerful storm to roll in from the Pacific Ocean. And that one is going to bring a renewed risk for more showers and thunderstorms. And this time, perhaps an even larger threat of severe weather across the southern plains as early as Monday or Tuesday. Now, over the next few days, this major pattern change is the story that will dominate the weather scene. So to get a better handle on it, we're going to take a look upstairs at our jet stream and our mid-level flow. And this is the picture right now. We have a potent storm system sitting comfortably over the desert southwest, and this is the culprit for a bit of severe weather today. It's also bringing heavy rainfall. There's another, smaller storm system up in Canada, but this one isn't really going to bother the United States. However, some snowfall is certainly possible across Canada over the next couple of days. Now, the big story, the main event, is what happens as we head into next week. Things are slated to change dramatically, arriving right on cue for Thanksgiving and all of your holiday travel plans. We'll begin with a significant storm system organizing from Sunday into Monday right across the Southern Plains. And this will almost certainly bring at least some severe weather to areas like Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas. I'd circle Sunday and Monday on your calendar as the main days to watch, with hail, wind, and a few tornadoes all on the table. By Tuesday and Wednesday, that storm system is going to get absorbed by our polar jet stream. And as that powerful merger takes place, we are expecting some genuinely chilly air to pour out of Canada as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, perfect timing for Thanksgiving. And so, what we're anticipating for Wednesday and Thursday is very cold air being pulled in on the backside of this low-pressure system. A strong storm system will also be positioned over the upper Midwest, which may introduce the threat of some snowfall, though that will primarily be in the upper Midwest and the far northern plains. But here's where the forecast gets a little tricky. One of the key factors we have to monitor is how flat or how dipped our jet stream becomes. And what I mean by that is, if we have a more west to east or zonal jet stream, it's going to struggle to really pull that Arctic air out of Canada. But if we get a more amplified meridional flow with strong winds diving straight out of the north, well, that becomes the express lane for a true Arctic blast. And get ready for a more potent Arctic blast as we head into the latter half of next week, arriving right around and just after Thanksgiving. Then, by next weekend and into the start of the following week, it looks like that weather pattern is going to lock in place, with our polar jet stream taking a dramatic dip far to the south. And that, folks, is basically an open invitation for some pretty cold air to settle in and stick around all the way through the end of the Thanksgiving weekend. And as for what's beyond that, well, things get a lot murkier as we venture into the beginning of December. But I will say, the start of December is shaping up to be quite active. Now, the other major story that's going to change is, of course, the temperatures. This is our temperature anomaly map for the next several days. We are currently enjoying above-average temperatures across much of the country right now. But don't get too comfortable, because as we move into the middle of next week, that's when the script is set to flip. 
That's our cue for some genuine Arctic air to spill down from Canada. The first wave of that will be timed for right around Wednesday and Thursday, primarily impacting the northern plains of the Midwest. It'll be a relatively small and compact area at first, but as we push into Thursday, it will begin to expand its reach across the Midwest. And then by Thursday and Friday, that's when we'll likely see a reinforcement of cold air, which is our way of saying a second, more powerful shot of cold is coming out of Canada. And that one is gonna be the main event, covering a larger area of cold air that could easily cause temperatures to plummet by as much as 30 to 40 degrees in some areas. So expect that to arrive around Black Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, right across the Midwest and the Northern Plains. And then, by the time we get to Sunday and Monday, that cold air will have marched its way all the way to the East Coast. This looks like it's going to be a fairly quick shot of cold air. It's not planning on overstaying its welcome. The Arctic blast we experienced earlier in the month was a bit more persistent than what this particular event is shaping up to be. But nonetheless, it's arriving with impeccable timing, just as millions of people are making plans all across the United States. So. Over the next few days, we're gonna be tracking a series of big storms. Let's break them down for you with the future radar. Here's the scene right about now. We've got plenty of rain across the central and southern plains. The focus of the activity is mainly in Oklahoma, Texas, and also stretching back into Tennessee. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will be the story for basically all of today, with coverage expected to really ramp up this afternoon and evening. By tomorrow, this storm system will begin to stretch out, becoming what I'd call a rather sloppy system by the time it gets here, extending from Colorado back into Alabama with some isolated strong storms certainly a possibility. However, it's mostly a rainmaker with this system. Then, by Saturday and Sunday, we'll have a weak storm system developing across the desert southwest, which will make its way into Texas and Oklahoma by Sunday, setting the stage for our next chance of severe weather. This one has the potential to pack a bit more of a punch than the system we're dealing with right now, but generally speaking, it does not look like it's going to be a major widespread outbreak as of this forecast. I believe Sunday will primarily be an isolated severe weather day, perhaps in a corridor from about Dallas-Fort Worth back into central Kansas, with hail, wind, and a couple of tornadoes, all possible. And then on Monday, we may see a continuation of that severe weather threat in the Mississippi River Valley. But for right now, that's a situation we'll be monitoring closely. That particular outcome remains a bit fuzzy. But as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, our attention turns to a significant storm that's beginning to take shape. What starts as a modest disturbance over the southern plains is set to blossom into a sprawling area of low pressure, stretching its influence from Canada all the way down into Dixie Alley. So. What does this mean for you? Well, some storms will linger through Monday and into Tuesday across the Southeast and the Ohio Valley, but the real headline grabber will be the snow, which becomes the main event late Tuesday and early Wednesday across North Dakota and Minnesota. And here's where the plot thickens, folks. Some of the latest forecast models are now hinting at the potential for some heavier snowfall late Tuesday into Wednesday across Minnesota and the Dakotas. Then, by late Wednesday into early Thursday, the system is expected to make a polite exit, lifting northward into Canada, which, for most of us in the States, means we'll be spared a major snow event from this particular system. However, don't be surprised if we see the season's first winter storm warnings issued for parts of Minnesota, depending entirely on how this system decides to evolve. Shifting our gaze to Thursday, the forecast for New England is looking rather unsettled. We're expecting to start the day on the soggy side. Conditions should improve later in the day, but then as we transition from late Thursday into Friday, the central plains might just have a little snow on their hands. But let's be frank, looking any further out than Thursday and Friday, the crystal ball gets a little cloudy. Rest assured, I plan on delivering a much more detailed Thanksgiving forecast either tomorrow or Saturday. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have clicked that bell icon. You won't want to miss our breakdown of who's getting a perfect holiday and who. Well, who might need a weatherproof plan B? Now, shifting gears to the here and now, on top of everything else on our weather menu, we are tracking a risk of severe weather for today. The Storm Prediction Center has outlined a large marginal threat of severe weather for Oklahoma, Arkansas, and a significant portion of Texas. And yes, that absolutely includes the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Our primary concerns today will be large hail and damaging winds. However, 
We can't ignore the 2% tornado risk that's also on the table, and that's a notable risk for this type of setup. The main window for this activity will be this afternoon, stretching from the Texas-Mexico border all the way northeast into northwestern Arkansas. So please, stay weather aware and ensure you have multiple ways to receive warnings. There is a slight chance we'll be going live later today, should a couple of tornado warnings be issued. So again, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you'll know the moment we go live. And let me be clear, today's severe threat is not one to be taken lightly. Even though the storms are expected to be somewhat disorganized and messy in their formation, we are dealing with a significant amount of wind shear in the atmosphere. The focus for this will set up from near Waco, Texas, and extend back into western Arkansas later this afternoon. This graphic here shows the forecast for around 5 o'clock, so this is a situation that bears watching closely. Now, what we're looking at are the significant tornado parameter values, and once these numbers start climbing into the 2 and 3 range, that certainly gets our attention and raises the level of concern. But I do believe the overall tornado risk will remain relatively low today. However, it is absolutely not something we can discount. Now, looking ahead to tomorrow, I expect the threat of severe weather to diminish significantly. While we might see some values hovering around one across the Mississippi Valley, I just don't see these storms having the right ingredients to organize, either in their overall potential or even in their vertical growth meaning they won't have much vertical reach. Thunderstorms are certainly on the menu here, but frankly, this environment is gonna have a tough time cooking up anything significant. However, it's always wise to keep your eyes on the sky, just in case Mother Nature decides to throw us a curveball. And to be clear, I'm not betting on that happening. All right, let's pivot to the timeline and break down when this severe weather is expected to roll in. Kicking things off around 10 a.m., Today, we are forecasting a widespread blanket of rain to stretch across western and central Texas. So yes, it's shaping up to be a rather sloppy day out there. This certainly won't be a textbook case of organized severe weather. We're not looking at your classic lineup of 15 supercells marching neatly across Oklahoma and Texas. What we have here is a rather disorganized, sprawling storm system. But as we head toward the noon hour, the picture will begin to shift. We'll see a few more storms attempting to get their act together right along the Red River Valley, and with that comes the potential for some damaging winds, some quarter to half dollar sized hail, and perhaps even a brief spin up tornado. I'm certainly not taking that off the table for the 12 to 1 o'clock time frame. However, I believe the main event, our peak window for any severe weather, will be later in the afternoon, between about 3 and 6 o'clock and our focus then will be primarily on southeastern Oklahoma, with a secondary area of concern stretching as far south as the Waco area. That's the zone we'll be monitoring most closely. But once again, notice the chaotic nature of this system. It's anything but organized, which means, broadly speaking, this is by no means a slam dunk forecast for a major severe weather event. It's entirely possible this fizzles out, or we could see a handful of potent storms pop up. I don't expect it to be an outbreak by any stretch of the imagination, though. By about 10 to 11 o'clock tonight, the storms will begin rolling into the Texarkana area. And that's where we expect this system to really start losing its punch. Then, as we head into the overnight hours, conditions should become much more tranquil across Arkansas and Oklahoma. Come tomorrow morning, we'll see another attempt at storm development across southeast Texas, but those will likely struggle to get going. Looking ahead to Friday, any activity that does manage to form should be on the weaker side of the spectrum, though some strong storms can't be ruled out near Memphis, Tennessee, and right along the Mississippi River Valley corridor. And one final note for you. The Climate Prediction Center is forecasting a high probability of below average temperatures for the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the Northeast. This chilly outlook covers the period from the 27th, that's Thanksgiving Day, all the way through the beginning of December. So, if you're a fan of winter, this is welcome news, as we're likely to see a significant shot of colder air as we close out the month. And as always, Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's forecast. If you're new to our community, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. And just a friendly reminder, our 24 seven live weather camera stream is always running on our sister channel, More Max Velocity. Think of it as your front row seat, a virtual waiting room in the event we need to go live for severe weather coverage later today.
We have hundreds of cameras feeding into this stream, with plans to add many more in the near future, so you'll definitely want to check it out. Again, you can find it by clicking the top link in the description below, or simply by searching for more Max Velocity on YouTube. And be sure to stay tuned, because we'll be releasing our comprehensive Thanksgiving forecast either tomorrow or Saturday, giving you an in-depth look at what to expect for the holiday. And we will see you all again for the next update.